Monica, all yours should you choose to accept this mission. I did. And so, hi. Bye, Venom. And here am I. So, good afternoon. I hope you are well today. It's good to see you again. And as you know, we have some news directly from the General Assembly Hall. This morning, the General Assembly has elected His Excellency Ambassador Tijani Mohamed Bandi, the next president of the GA. Mr. Mohamed Bandi, the current ambassador of Nigeria to the United Nations, was elected by acclamation. He will preside over the 74th session of the General Assembly, which starts in September and lasts for a year until 2020. Following his election as the PGA, member states also chose the 21 vice presidents of the General Assembly for the next period and the chairpersons for five main committees and the bureau members for the next session. The Republic of Ghana won the drawing of lots by the Secretary General Antonio Guterres to the term the member state which will occupy the first seat in the G8 at the next session. In her remarks after the election of Ambassador Mohamed Bandi, the President of the General Assembly, Ms. Maria Fernanda Espinosa, congratulated the PGA elects and said that he is well seasoned to be to provide, actually, the strong and creative leadership which the Assembly requires for a world in rapid change. Mr. Spinoza also said that his presidency comes at a very critical moment for the United Nations and multilateralism. And as announced yesterday, the PGA elect, Mr. Tijani Mohamed Bandi, we will speak to you, UN correspondents, at 3 p.m. today during a stakeout in front of the General Assembly Hall at the East Foyer. Uh, UN Web TV will broadcast it live, and all UN accredited correspondents are invited to be there in person. The President-elect will deliver short opening remarks and take your questions afterwards, and I will be there as well. President Espinosa has thanked the Secretary General Antonio Guterres, his, his management team, and all UN staff for the strong support given to her global campaign against single-use plastics. This week, the UN headquarters is starting to phase out, as you know, all single-use plastics from its premises as part of its strong commitment to tackle plastic pollution. Mrs. Spinoza said she is grateful to all those who made the extra mile to turn the tide on plastic pollution and save our oceans, including member states, UN agencies, civil society, representatives of the media, the creative community, and individuals across the globe who are signing up and taking action. On Saturday, the PGA joins the government of Antigua and Barbuda in Norway in Antigua for the Plate Out concert to beat plastic pollution. More information on our website. And later, as we announced today, later today at 6 p.m., the PGA will join Oscar winner actress Whoopi Goldberg to unveil a photo exhibition by National Geographic at the UN Visitor Central Hall. The UN will be the first stop on a global tour for the Planet of Plastic photo exhibition. Mrs. Spinoza and Ms. Goldberg will be joined by the permanent representative of Monaco, Her Excellency Ms. Isabel Pico, and the National Geographic Society Chief of Content, Communications, and Public Affairs, Ms. Kali Kreider. This exhibition a partnership between National Geographic and the Office of the President of the General Assembly is supported with funding from the government of Monaco and we will effectively tell the story of plastics. So you are all invited as well today at 6 p.m. at the Visitor Center uh, at the G Hall, 6 p.m. from 8 p.m. That's the time. And as you know, we'll be back here on Thursday, live, as tomorrow is a holiday in the UN. So happy Eid for all of those who are celebrating it. And this is all from us. Do you have any questions, Mr. Abadi? Go ahead. Thank you, Monica. Mm -hmm. As you mentioned, the new president of the new session has been elected. Does President Spinoza believe that one year mandate for the General Assembly president is sufficient to complete the program of the president? 
Well, this is a question that uh, has been around for a while, hasn't it? Um, the, the duration of the mandate, uh, different uh, PGAs take it differently. I think Mrs. Spinoza said in the past, and uh, you, I think you will, you will remember when the other, the other PJs came to the UN to have a discussion. This was one of the topics that uh, perhaps it would, would be more realistic to have a, a, a longer mandate. I think uh, this is a decision, of course, uh, for member states, not for the current PGA or the future PJs. Uh, however, uh, Mrs. Spinoza is very focused on her working agenda. And the fact today uh, that uh, we elected a new PGA uh, doesn't change anything on her agenda. She is working round the clock for her seven uh, priorities, so is the entire team. But of course, also uh, uh, making everything possible to uh, help the, the next PGA with the transition and um, everything he needs. Yes. Okay, James, go ahead. Does the President of the General Assembly have any comment on the anniversary of the Tiananmen Square massacre? We don't have anything further from what has been said already. Thank well, you. okay, let's follow up then. Um, mm -hmm. does she, let's go historically. Does she condemn what happened 30 years ago in Tiananmen Square? We don't have anything further from what has been said already. Does Thanks. she condemn the fact that there's been no accountability for the massacre? I think I have answered your question. Does the UN have a China problem? I think I have answered your question, and I... I don't have anything else to say on this. Yes. Go ahead, Deepak. Hello? Yeah. Can you repeat what the uh, president does. of the General Assembly has said for those of us who don't know what she has said recently about this, the, about Tiananmen Square? This is, uh -huh. this is not um, uh, a subject that uh, uh, was in the current session of the General Assembly, and uh, the president has uh, nothing to add on this. But, but it's about human rights, which, you know, is the third pillar of the UN, so maybe she does have a comment. We acknowledge uh, what you're saying and your question, uh, but uh, we don't think, don't have anything actually uh, to add on this. Uh, Deepak, you have another question? Uh, Go yes, ahead. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, Deepak Arora from the Tribune Online. I'm just continuing with what uh, Dr. Abadi asked you. Yes. Uh, I also have similar sentiments. I feel how, what kind of impact it has on the presidency when, you know, like almost three and a half months before the term ends, you have another person. And you know, it's always hovering on your mind that uh, the transition takes place. So if you could just give us a mindset of a president, that how does it have impact on the working of a president? You know? No, the, the work actually continues. Uh, as I said before, she's very focused on her agenda, so is the, the entire team. And that happened last year as well, if you uh, will remember. Uh, she was elected uh, on the 5th of June, and uh, she started uh, her work uh, in, with the transition team uh, here in the UN. And uh, President Leitchak, uh continued uh, with his uh, uh, agenda in his work. So it is uh, a matter of uh, having, of course, uh, the, the two, the incoming president, the current president, uh, working at the same time with their respective teams. But uh, with this president, I can tell you, and that was also the, the, the case last year, uh, that she is available for uh, the incoming president, uh, His Excellency Mohammed. Uh, Bundy, uh, to any questions or cooperation that he might uh, require. But uh, the agenda continues. Uh, I will be w briefing you here every day as usual, and uh, we count on your support to um, continue the work. Yes. Okay, don't say go ahead. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. What are, and uh, Mr. Abadja, go back to you. Uh, what, is yes. the pre what are the president's plans for when her term is up? Well, this is also something that has been, uh, people asked her uh, before. Uh, what she has been saying is that uh, she uh, has been working nonstop for several years now, and uh, her, probably her first uh, thoughts uh, will be to take a, a short holiday. I think she will deserve as well. But guys, we are not there yet. September is not here, so works continue, yeah? Dr. Abadi, go ahead. Thank you, Monica. Mm -hmm. What is the president's belief uh, in what she has been most uh, known for as an accomplishment during the, her tenure of president of the 73rd session? You know, we have seven priorities, as you know, and uh, we tend to dedicate uh, uh, the time. The president uh, has uh, uh, been consistent in saying that uh, we have a, a priority for each day of the week. Um, of course, if you uh, 
I, I think I said before to Joe, he's not here today, that it will be a time for us to sit down and reflect uh, towards the end on, on her, her agenda and her uh, accomplishments. We are not there yet. But uh, there have been, uh, from feedback that we have received, uh, uh, some uh, uh, acknowledgments already um, of her work, of course, for agenda uh, equality and uh, uh, you know the, the plan of action with uh, eight points for, for member states and also other actors to implement in order to really empower women, not only talk about it, but really empower them. And uh, uh, most recently, of course, uh, uh, th this is actually not a, an individual uh, no, um, achievement, uh, Mr. Abadi, but it's a collective effort that is being led by the president, which is the global campaign against plastic pollution. We have been talking about that for a while, that the UN should walk the talk, but finally we are here with the help of everybody, and she's very proud about it. Yeah. On empowering women, does the president believe that there should be a woman at the head of the Secretariat of the United Nations. And I know that the Assembly is master of its own procedure. Well, um, I think it is not only a matter of if, it's a matter uh, of uh, when. And people, I mean, the, I'm, I don't speak for the Secretary General, as you know, but uh, our own Secretary General uh, has been a, a strong supporter. and. Um, we will know what happens in the future, but I think uh, consensus, perhaps, uh, if I am being uh, probably too forward-looking, uh, indicates that it's not a matter of if, it's a matter of when. And we that's also another uh, uh, proof that we have to stop talking and uh, acting more when it, comes, when it comes to gender equality and gender parity. If you don't have anything else, I would say thank you very much, but I'll see you again at 3 p.m., okay, for the new... PGA, or the incoming PGA. Thank you, everybody. Thank you.